All right, ladies and gentlemen, final mission of Vice City Stories. Bennett is downtown. His place is like a fortress. But this baby, she'll tear the whole building down. Great. When I'm done, we're done. Lance and I will owe you nothing. When you're done, I'm going to own this town. It's the American dream. And it's all because of you, Vic. You're a hero. No, I'm an asshole. I spent all my time running around making morons rich while my family fell apart and the woman I wanted died waiting for me to call. Woman? You need some porn? I just got in some crazy donkey porn. Oh. I'll be finished with it by the time you get back. I'm not coming back, Diaz. And I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Woohoo! Whatever you say, tough guy. I'll see you around. <laughs> Lance and Tommy kill him later anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. <laughs> Come for you, bitches. I hope I'm stocked up enough. I have enough M4 ammo, and I have some rocket bullets, so I should be fine. I just gotta be careful, because the final boss is kind of annoying, because both Mendez and Martinez are on the building. I don't know if they attack each other, but you gotta be careful, because you can either let them kill each other, or you gotta, like, r get behind cover on this little slit, so you, j you just gotta be careful. Like, it's pretty simple, you just gotta time it, make sure you got full health and everything, so. Alright, first thing first, I gotta blow up this building. Then I gotta fight my way through the building. It's right here, see the one with the windows? As if it matters, I have a star. Eat this! Nice, got him. Oh, they're gonna blow it down though, Roch. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, then you gotta jump out and go. You have to walk through the whole building, kill everybody, then come back to the roof. <laughs> wow, look how chilly is. Cool guys don't look back at explosions. <laughs> Wasn't that a meme? Oh shit! Look at this. Oh my god. Wow, you're right. I already have body armor, so hopefully this body armor is still here when I get back up to the building. Alright. Okay, so I can use this as cover. Alright. Body armor. Oh, here it is. Shit.
Alright. Oh wait, they have a chopper too, don't they? Oh shit. But I got a bazooka, bitches. Looks like Vic's partying without me! Sweep the building! Flush that turret up to the roof so I can finish this! I see Oh, there was armor right there. Pfft, whatever. This is it. Let's just pray to God that I don't fucking die. Ten hut! <laughs> Big! I swear to God, I thought you were gonna salute me! Toss the gun! Fuck you! Big! Still so uptight. You know what your problem is? You're trying to be the good guy in a bad man's game! Huh? I thought you had potential. Turns out you're just another chump, like Mendez. Me cago en tu madre. Oye, ese. ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Mete a la mierda. You first. Done. Done and done. You just have to take cover and let them fuck it up. They fight each other and then you just kill them. <laughs> nice. Thanks for everything, Martinez. You're a great help. <laughs> okay, brother, let's waste these bomb plants. It's done. My time is over, bitches. Lance fans is about to get brutal on you, and when Lance fans get brutal on a lady, somebody starts to Lance, cry! Lance, will you shut up? It's over. What? Oh! But well, we did it, baby! <laughs> you and me! <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen. Now that things are straight with Diaz, we should get out of town or lay low for a little while, you know? Yeah, you're right, man! Look, I'm gonna send some money to Pete. Cool! But, bro! I don't want you thinking it's just about you. That is all about you. Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. It's about you, me, Pete, Bob, wherever the hell but she wait. is. But wait, I've been making moves. I got a hold of 20 keys, Are man. you crazy? Get rid of it. No, all we got to do is sit on it. It's hidden out of sight, out of town, man. We lay low and then sell it. No, 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 I am not interested. Got it? OK, man, whatever you say. That's right. Come on! Let's pop! Huh. That's the end of them. Okay. It wasn't that hard, actually. That was a pretty easy mission. I didn't even need cheat codes. Because I did the cheat for, um armor and the armor was right there so i didn't even need any codes for that that was like see how easy that mission was compared to the fucking one we got to chase freaking oh my god killing armando was way harder than killing his brother and martinez <laughs>
Vice City Stories is wrapped up. It is in the bag. It's over. Done and done. <sighs> At least this music makes you feel like a hero. It's like, finally. Finally I beat it. I was losing my temper there towards the end, but, you know, I just... I knew the end was within sight, and it's just... That mission was just, I'm sorry, poorly programmed. The one where Lance is running off to Armando's mansion, and you have to kill Armando, and he has the flamethrower. But seriously, consider a couple of things. The fight with Armando... It's an overhead view. It's an overhead fight. It's not like the fight against Martinez and um, his brother. So you're at a disadvantage. You can't see all the enemies. It's almost like GTA 1. I hate to say it. It's almost like playing GTA 1, but with the PS2 graphic, that Armando fight. And then pair it with a horrible chase sequence where Lance runs up close to the guys that you need to kill, and he blocks your path every single time. He, and his bike, you can't knock him off his bike, so his bike is like a, is a brick wall. So every time you hit into it, your car is going to spin out of control, and then he's going to lose more health because Armando's guys are shooting him. And he's like running up to them wicked close so that he gets shot. It's like the stupidest thing ever. So, other than that really bad mission, this game was quite enjoyable. I had way more fun playing it than Liberty City Stories. As I've already said, I already played this game and I already beat it back in 2006 when it came out when I was when I was younger. And that was on the place that was on the PSP. So you can imagine on a portable device it was probably a little bit different, you know. The controls were different. There weren't two analog sticks, so you know. But yeah, you know, the game was good. I, I enjoyed it. Obviously there were still some problems and issues, you know, the targeting system and just some of the, the, the graphical stuff in the game, you know, it wasn't always well put together. Kind of like Liberty City Stories, but you know what? This game actually had a story to it, dude. I mean, Liberty City Stories was just stupid. It was, I, as I've said many times before, the story of Liberty City Stories is basically this four-way mob battle between all these gangs in Liberty City. And you're, a, you're this lapdog doing whatever fucking Salvatore tells you to do, and you just, you go full circle. It's just, just nothing of any substance happens. In this game, it's all about this whole conspiracy with drugs and stuff. You know, Martinez sets you up in the beginning, and then you have to find your way. Lance is trying to get involved with it, so you can pay off money and get involved, you know, help with your brother's costs and stuff. And then... And then he sees how that girl Louise is being treated, and then he risks his neck to save her, and then she ends up getting killed, and then he kind of goes on this revenge trip, and he finally realizes in that last moment when he's talking to Diaz that, you know, he's, he, he was kind of like a lapdog, doing whatever anyone told him to do. Just for money and for drugs and stuff, and finally he told Lance, you know, go fuck yourself, I'm not doing your missions. So... You know, finally, you know, finally he grew some balls and finally told Lance to go, go fuck a duck. Like, seriously. So, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud that, you know, we were able to finally reach this conclusion. You know, a portable game that actually had a pretty good story. Although the graphics and the gameplay were pretty much the same as Liberty City Stories, you still had some new features in this game. You had swimming. You had helicopter air vehicles. He had that plane that glitched out in that earlier video, which was pretty hilarious. He had helicopters, which was a big part of the game. You actually had to use it a lot. For the final mission, you had to, you know, use a helicopter that was armed with rockets and machine guns, and it was really cool. So, they added enough new features to this game that made it worth playing again. Even though it was the exact same Vice City that we saw for Vice City for the in two, that came out in 2003, there were still enough new features in this game that warranted a purchase. I believe that this game is a warranted purchase. I don't believe that Liberty City Stories is a warranted purchase. It's a it's a terrible game. It's a copy and paste of GTA 3's world with a terrible story, a horrible character, no character development, 
and just really outdated graphics, nothing really interesting at all, and it's just... It's, it's really, it's terrible. This game had a great story, added some new features, yeah, it still had the same graphics engine, but it had enough in the game that made it worth playing. And I just remember that you can hold X and whiz through the credits, so... Sorry if, 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 sorry if anyone who worked at the Rockstar Game Studio isn't getting their plug, but I don't feel like sitting through this. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if there's any ending cutscenes, and then we'll, we'll be on our way. The winner's outfit is now available. One thing I will say, the empire, building your own empire and your own business, that's another new aspect they added to this game, which is pretty cool. But when the hell is it ever needed? The only thing that you would need that for is to get money, because in, in, in the game's defense, when you do missions, the game doesn't necessarily give you a lot of money as your reward. Think of in GTA 3, you'd get like $10,000, $100,000, $50,000 for completing some missions, and you could use that money to buy weaponry. In this game, they don't really give you that high of a reward. It's usually like $1,000, $2,000 max. And with the Empire growing your business, basically, you can use that money to, when you get your payday, you can use that money to go buy weapons. And, you know, if you die or anything else, that's, that's the whole commerce system. But I didn't really need to do that. Like, look at the map on the right-hand side. I didn't spend any time conquering gang territories. I didn't do any of the reds or the the dark, the, the you know, what was it? Yeah, the, the, the purple, the dark blue, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't spend any time trying to take back the gang territories. I could have extended the footage and, you know, had a couple of videos of me destroying, but... What would have been the point in that? Like, it would have just been me fighting generic enemies over and over and over again, conquering businesses and just getting money. Like, there was just no point. That's why I was cutting corners with the cheat codes and stuff like that, because I knew that the end result would pretty much be the same. So, so that's why I did it, you know? No no hard feelings to the game, but, you know, it, the, the aspect of it wasn't necessary. Think about in Assassin's Creed 3, the whole prospect of getting your business, and there were a lot of features. Assassin's Creed 3 is the pinnacle. When, it, when a game has features in it that are cool and interesting, new features that are added to the game as additional content, but they're never actually needed. If they implemented some of the features into the game better where you needed to do it, then okay. Think of Vice City, the original Vice City. You were not able to progress in the game until you actually did more missions for your businesses. So then when your businesses got attacked, it actually felt like there was a reason you needed to defend them. In this game, when my businesses got attacked, it was generic. I was like, okay, who gives a shit? In Vice City, it actually mattered because I spent a lot of time building that shit up and doing multiple, multiple missions that actually mattered. So there was actually a point, so... Okay, I uh, just wanted to get that off my chest a little bit. Thank you all for watching... I know a lot of my fans, especially, I have a good number of fans who have been only pretty much watching. I, I, I see your comments. I recognize usernames, and pretty much people are sticking with the GTA content exclusively. I really don't see other people jumping to other videos and such. Um, so yeah, I appreciate your viewership. Uh, Vice City Stories was fun. But that's it. We're moving out of the PlayStation 2 era. Next time we resume the countdown to Grand Theft Auto 5. It'll be, uh, I don't know, maybe, in, I'm thinking after, here's, here's what I can say. Maybe in late June, after, when I come back from E3, perhaps the week after I come back from E3, maybe I'll start GTA 4, okay? That's the next game on my list, okay? So perhaps I can start playing GTA 4 after E3. So then I have to beat GTA 4, and then I gotta do the last, the Lost and Damned, and then the Ballad of Gay Tony, which is the conclusion. So maybe I'll split it up by month, you know, maybe I'll have June and part of July for GTA 4. Maybe I'll have the second part of July be Lost and Damned, and then somewhere in the middle of August I'll do the Ballad of Gay Tony, because a month later in September we have GTA 5's release, so it all kind of works out, so. Alright, that is it. Thank you for watching. Um, I... 
I beat this game Saturday night on May 18th, so I'm going to be splitting up the footage. I'll only upload part of the videos I took today because I did. I kind of went on a long, a long excursion playing this game today, hence why I was kind of getting antsy towards the end. So, All right, thank you for sticking in there with me. I'm the Area Lord as always, and um, we're, I think, what, 240, 250 videos into this fucking marathon? It's ridiculous, and I know people are looking at the numbers and like, holy shit, you made that many videos? So, all right, another GTA game crossed off the list, and I will see you later for the beginning of GTA 4. Peace out.